Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh god, it's been so long. It's actually been so long, what the hell. The last time I filmed a YouTube video, I think we're talking like... It was way before summer, like I really, really don't know. But welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, we have an awful lot to catch up on and I just feel like it's the right time to get back to YouTube. Also, sorry if you can hear rumbling, I really don't know how loud it is, hopefully not that loud. I've just turned on my engine because it is freezing this morning. My car is covered in ice. I haven't filled up the de-icer in my car, so in true Meg Branch fashion, that's empty and I can't de-ice my windscreen. So we're gonna go with the heat today and see how long it takes, but Luckily I have some things to talk about with you so we can actually pass time by. But yeah, it's been a really, really long time since I've been on YouTube. And in all honesty, I have really, really missed it. But without getting too deep, we have a lot to catch up on. And I feel like, what better way than just to throw myself back into it. We're gonna do a bit of a daily vlog today. You're gonna spend the day with me and we're just gonna sort of catch up on where I've been, what's been going on. I know a lot of you have missed my YouTube videos and that's really, really nice. I get messages every day like, when are you coming back to YouTube? Um, which honestly means the world, but I've had to like, what's the saying? You can take a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. Like I've had my camera here. I have had a lot going on and did he just wave? Oh no. Good job I didn't wave back, isn't it? Awfully good job I didn't wave back. So yeah, I thought I would take you along on a on a day in my life today, um, show you what my life is kind of looking like at the moment. And I'm very, very busy and I'm very fortunate and blessed to have the responsibilities that I do now and have my own business, which I'll go into a little bit more as well because that is a big, big chunk of my day. But yeah, just to spend the day together and kind of catch up really so waiting for my car to defrost and then we're gonna head to the gym i actually joined a new gym in december i might have joined a new gym another new gym before i stopped filming youtube videos basically i was at one gym and then i moved to a jd gyms which are like beautiful beautiful clean pristine super aesthetic nice gyms uh, in december a friend of a friend opened a gym um which it's more of a bodybuilding gym, it's right up my alley, the equipment is absolutely unbelievable. So I now go there full time every single day, like I absolutely love it and there was nothing wrong with JD Gym at all. Um, but this just feels much more of a community and for someone who spends an awful lot of time in the gym, I'm really really happy there. So we're going today to hip push, I actually have a new coach. Um, I've been training with him for a couple of weeks now, just since the start of the new year, and I'm absolutely loving it. Like, it's the most rigid, probably, style of training that I've ever done, but I have some, not even aesthetic goals, like, I have some big goals with my routine this year, and I need some kind of structure when it comes to my training because that's obviously a huge huge part of my job by the way i'm so sorry this intro clip is so long like i just don't know how to start filming youtube videos again and act like i never disappeared we will get to the gym soon i promise you it's push day you're gonna absolutely love it this year i just want to be uh, a richer version of myself and i don't mean money like at all i mean i want to just feel socially rich and rich in confidence and rich in opportunity and I feel like each of those things just feed into another and I feel like last year near the end of the year I really really started to develop these things pretty much I would say when I stopped vlogging I had a really really bad crash in confidence and it fed into a lot of areas of my life it fed into my friendships it fed into my job it fed into my relationship like across the board and I started going to therapy and I don't you know like I'm I'm very I'm very headstrong right so the decision to go and see someone and talk about my feelings and where I want to go in life was a big one like I wasn't I wasn't comfortable with it um at first literally remember booking my first session and I was like I'm gonna cancel it because I just I cannot go <laughs> um but actually it was the strongest and best thing that I ever did. I wasn't in desperate need, but I knew that in order to enrich my life, I needed to identify some things of my past and really, really, I don't know, look 
have a bit more introspection into my life from a third party who really doesn't know anything about me or have any emotions tied to me and honestly I could I couldn't re recommend it more to anyone like I think that everyone should go to therapy at some point because everyone has a story and everyone behave everyone's behavior is a result of their story but yeah I started going to therapy and I learned a lot about myself I learned a lot about why I crave being in control, this is a bit deep, but why that also then affects my confidence. Um, I'm a person who really struggles to let loose and I first started going to therapy before I went to Mykonos because I was like, oh my god, I'm going on holiday with eight or nine girls who I have never ever met in my life before. This is my first girls holiday. I am going to be hella out of my comfort zone and someone quickly helped me flick a switch because I need to fix that. I was really really under the impression that I needed to be fixed, to fit in, or to take up space. And turns out I was wrong. Everything I feel is a result of my past. I've kind of learned to accept that I am more who I am, but as a result of accepting that I have become more confident and comfortable within myself. I was thinking I was suffering with a lot of imposter syndrome, like filming YouTube videos, and it really affected the content I ended up putting out on Instagram. Whoa, that scared the life out. <laughs> Turns out the car's de iced. So I decided to take a step back from YouTube because I just felt like it was more pressure to be a more upright, confident, bubbly version of myself than what I was feeling at the time. Um, and it wasn't like I was enjoying it much at, the, at that time. And now I feel like I've evolved and I've grown. I am excited to start filming again. I'm excited to share my day with you and share events with you and holidays with you and just reconnect with you on a bit more of a personal level. I really feel like my personality has struggled to get across in my content, which is unfortunate. I hope you don't mind the long intro. I hope you're kind of excited I'm back to YouTube because I am. Life's a bit different now and probably won't look that way because I'm still going to be sitting in front of my laptop in my vlogs and I'm still going to be in the gym, just a slightly different gym. Um, but I just feel, I feel like it's time to let you guys back in. Okay. That's me telling me to change my oil once again. Guys, I really need to fix up my car. Um, oh, it's literally my toxic trait, ignoring all the warning signs. Made it to the gym. Is it just me? I put this on my story the other day and it might be very, very niche, but I actually feel like based on how you guys replied to my story that I'm not the only one. On the way to the gym, I hype up not by listening to old school R&B, not by listening to Drake, not by listening to a bit of grime which I'm a bit guilty of because of obviously being with Aaron, he loves crime. Um, but by listening to literal heart-wrenching heartbreak songs, this is a girl who's been heartbroken once in her life when she was like 18, whatever. But I listen to these songs and I'm like feeling it, like I'm going through it. I'm in a perfectly happy four year long relationship, but this stuff gets me hyped for the gym like literally hyped. I'm gonna go in there and take out all of this imaginary emotion on those weights. Very, very niche, I know, very, very niche. All right, you can literally hear this crazy music in this gym, so I'm gonna make this real quick, but I just thought I'd show you my outfit today. I have on the brand new design effortless shorts in black. These have the new engineered logo. If you haven't tried them already, you need to try them, they're honestly insane. And then with that, I have also the brand new everyday sports bra that just launched it on last week. And with that, I have my oversized zip through black hoodie, which I love and adore, absolutely rinse. And my new black trainers, which are the Metcon 4s, because everyone keeps asking on Instagram. Okay guys, we're going straight in with the voiceover, because let me tell you the music in this gym. It's so loud, hardcore drum and bass. If it wasn't for my headphones, I probably wouldn't be able to get through a session. Um, but hey ho, preference. Just on the treadmill here, doing some steps and warming up. Honestly, this gym is absolutely freezing, so I need all I can get. First exercise, we have incline machine press. This is humbling. It is very, very humbling. I am doing 20 a side here and I get around eight to 10 reps, as you can see. On this last rep I fail guys if you're not training to failure you're not training hard enough 
Then next exercise, I go into um, cable machine chest press. I really like this. This is a new movement though. So I'm still kind of finding my feet with it, but so far, so good. Control the tempo, you'll love it. Next exercise, I have shoulder press. Look, me and shoulder press, we're not friends. We're heavily humbled, cannot literally consistently push over the 15. So here I'm taking 12.5s for a spin for three sets of six. Honestly, the most deadly superset you'll ever do for your side delts here. Um, these are lying cuffed side raises. I do 10 of these and straight into partial side raises to failure with dumbbells. Or you can carry on doing with the cuffs, but genuinely it's too heavy. Like I literally just get three reps. There's no point making it a superset. <laughs> um, but yeah, absolutely love this superset. You really should try it. And then... Your girl's trying to get her tricep dips unassisted. We can do about three to four unassisted, um, but I'm still working them assisted within like an eight to 15 rep range. Um, so here I am on the assisted machine, heavily, heavily failing at the end because that's how we train push. That's how we get big, strong girl muscles. And then just finishing off the session with some tricep cable extensions. This 1MR attachment for the cables is 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend training done i feel like most of this vlog's going to be in the car to be honest that was a good session my gym is so cold though i think where it's really really cold outside today absolutely freezing but i only had my wide leg on a joggers with me it's not quite the training vibe um so yeah i'm icy like actually icy i've got a squares bar pre uh, post workout i actually do have a post workout meal that i should be eating and i will eat but i need to go food shopping first have no dinner tonight but yeah and now i need fuel i am um, oh my goodness so dramatic i have 20 mile left i'm gonna go food shopping pick up some bits that i need and i'm gonna go home and have lots of client work to do and some client setups because i've got new girls starting which is very very exciting that was horrifically awkward. The car in front of me just drove when someone was trying to cross a zebra crossing. And I was driving to him, obviously let him go, but I'm like awkwardly laughing, smiling, like, bless you, you nearly got run over. But then he started looking at me like I was laughing at him. At him. I was just trying to be nice. I was trying to be like, don't be embarrassed. Like, it's okay, I'll let you go. <laughs> These things actually always happen to me. Okay, I'm in my license. It's not a great day. They don't have any chocolate squares bars. So I think it's gonna have to be the original ones, which isn't too shabby. Just grabbing some essentials and literally only a basket full. <laughs> Bobby bought it. I'm gonna whack that up. Aaron's not here, so you can't tell me off. Does anyone else argue so much with their boyfriend over the heating because they're like always so hot and you're always so cold? If that's not me and my boyfriend, then I don't know what it is. Right, been to Morrison's. Didn't get my chocolate squares bars as you would have seen. I had to go with the normal marshmallow ones, but look, we can't be fussy. There are bigger problems in the world, Meg. Gonna put my post-workout meal in the microwave. Even though it's been some time now because I was sat in Morrison's car park doing some stories, a little Q&A sesh. Right, post-workout, I have my meal prep. I actually posted a meal prep reel the other day. My hair looks crazy, it needs washing. I like to call these loaded wedges, but it's minced beef, potatoes, and Mediterranean veg. So that goes in the microwave for three minutes, super easy because honestly, I don't have the energy or time. Then I can eat, then I can get down to work. I'm working my way through client check-ins and I'm getting hungry. My sweet tooth is kicking in. So I thought I have been making um, some baked oats recently and honestly it's just like cake so I thought I would actually make them with you today and I'll show you how I make them using, they're high protein, they're like 
Let me see. Macros in them, 40 gram carb, 12 gram fat, 40 gram protein. So they're actually really, really good. I'm gonna show you how I make them because they're super, super easy. Um, first, I'm just gonna turn my oven on. I have a fan oven and I put it on 200 degrees. If you wanna treat yourself this month, Go buy yourself a Nutribullet. You will never have a smoother protein shake in your life. And it actually just makes it baked dough. It's 10 times better. Okay, so ingredients. I'm gonna have to get them up because even though I make these every single day, I still cannot remember. Um, so we start off with half of a banana. I actually think that if you use a banana that is like really, really ripe, and I am a green banana kind of gal, that's how I eat banana, but a really, really ripe banana makes the banana bread so much sweeter. Half a banana, one scoop of protein powder. I use the Women's Best Fit Whey Protein Chocolate Fudge Brownie like since forever. As you guys know, I'm an athlete with Women's Best, so you can use my code MAKEB20 to get 20% off this, but honestly, it's just, it's like chocolatey banana baked oats. 10 out of 10 from me. One whole egg just goes in there. Watch me make an absolute tit of myself. Pretty seamless to be fair. I'm gonna weigh out 30 gram of oats. Obviously you can increase these proportions if you want to have more or reduce them if you want a smaller portion. 50 ml of milk. I have actually been using this milk. I actually went pretty dairy free but a little bit of chocolate but i found that milk was really upsetting my tummy and yogurts and like big big quantities so i actually started getting this a la yakto oh my battery's flashing red it's not looking good bruv so then i am now gonna put in 50 ml of milk see now i'm stressed because i have time and now my filming camera's flashing forgot when you vlog you need to have several cameras back uh, but I forgot when you vlog you need to have several batteries backed up and charged a little bit of salt like a pinch and then a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder just to give it that rising volume and then blend it this is going to be loud I'm sorry pour in the mixture and then because I have a sweet tooth, I'm going to pop in some chocolate chips so that they all melt within the mixture. Whoa, they look good today. And here you go. Yummy baked oats that are literally like cake. And now I'm gonna scoff my face with these because I need something sweet. My energy's levels are crashing. Gonna eat my chocolate banana bread baked oats, finish my check-ins, and then I have some admin stuff to do. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, I'll be honest with you, I am feeling a little bit anxious for some reason. Um, and you know what? I'm identifying why, and I think it's because I woke up a bit late this morning because I went to bed late and I still wanted to get my full eight hours in so I was fully recovered for my session. And I'm just not, my energy levels are not good in the late afternoon. Like I'm not productive in the late afternoon to do any deep work, like light work, fine. But usually I get like most of my deep work done in the morning before I go to the gym. And because I woke up late and I didn't, I think I'm feeling a bit anxious. It's okay. I've got food to help the situation and I'm going to finish this, get it done so I can feel better and then approach a few tasks that are probably the core of this anxiety, i.e. accounts. Why don't they teach you this stuff in school? Honestly, mm. if ever you think like Meg's got it together and she knows what she's doing, I really don't. A lot of the time I really don't and I'm absolutely winging it through life. But is that not just your 20s for you? So guys, just wrapped up some client work for the day. I have one more setup I need to do, which is pretty much ready to go. Um, and then I'm done with work. It's just gone five. I'm waiting for Aaron to come home from his office. 
and then I'm gonna have a nice chilled evening because that is exactly what I fancy. I've got quite a full on day tomorrow. I'm actually going to the Honor Active office, um, which I don't know if it'll be one of the last times going to this office, maybe not, but obviously they're moving into their new office in the spring, which is gonna be just so exciting. But tomorrow I've got a sort of meeting situation with the design and product team. Um, which I'm excited for. I just, I absolutely love being involved in that side of this business and this company and just having as much input and offer my mind as much as possible. I, I don't really know, but and I've got that at 12 and then I'm going out with um, a couple of friends afterwards for just some Nando's, I think, just for a little catch up with Evie and Sana, probably know them, their teammates at Honor. Um, and it's been a while, so definitely, definitely a well overdue catch up with them, which is going to be really nice. But lots of client stuff to do before I go, so it's going to be a very, very full on day. So a relaxed evening tonight is actually just what I need. I'm going to sit and I'm going to carry on watching a new series that we've been watching on Now TV. It's called Your Honor, and it's got the same main character, guy, actor. Honestly, I am the worst person ever with actors' names or actresses' names. Not a clue. Not a clue. He was the main character in Breaking Bad, if that helps. But honestly, this series is so good. I'm absolutely hooked. I think I've recommended it to every single soul that I've spoke to in the past two weeks. Um, but I'm gripped and I'm one of those people who I absolutely like binge a series till it's done, till I've absolutely killed it off or I don't watch TV at all. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog there just because that's the bulk of my day done and now I just wanna kind of put all electronics down and just chill. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really don't even know if it's enough footage. Obviously it's been so long since I've vlogged so it could be a really short video. It could be incredibly boring. You could definitely be sick of my voice by now. But truth is, you guys are always asking for vlogs and me to come back to YouTube and day in their lives and this is my life. Like I spend a lot of the day on my own um, doing the things I love which I am so eternally grateful for the opportunity to do. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's just not all that exciting. I'm just chatting away and grateful to have you guys with me when I do. So definitely go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already, um, especially as I will be posting more frequently now and getting back into the swing of YouTube. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. See you later.